Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here with a review of the DX Moi Moi Zukun from Hikonin Sentai Akiba Ranger. This thing is a one-to-one -one scale, like replica model type deal, which is really cool. And I just made it sound like like weird. I'm like type deal. Like I'm not sure what it is. Could be made out of breadcrumbs. I don't know. No, but anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the box first, like usual, and then I'll bring the figure in. I just didn't want to crowd the space up uh, by having both uh, on frame at the same time. But so, uh, pretty nice packaging, very fitting of the style. Obviously, you have the Akiba Rangers over here. Uh, Zikun is gun mode, figure mode. Uh, it says DX Moi Zikun down here. One to one scale, sound gimmick, gun mode, uh, figure mode, in case you didn't know. Like, oh my god, what does it do? I forgot. And then the top, it shows it again. More stuff about it. Uh, figure mode on the side. Measures 240 millimeters. Millimeters? I know, metrics. Uh, gun mode, it's got the Akiba Rangers there again, being like, look, we used these in the show, I'm like, cool. Um, and then on the back, you got, obviously, a picture of it again. Um, shows you sort of how to transform it. Um, and so, yeah, let's go ahead and we will lift this out, magically, and then bring it. So, in. here we have it in its figure mode. This is the mode where they, you know, talk into it and just hold it in general. Um, so, as you can see, it's quite big. Um, it's pretty much possibly taller, if not the same size, as a certain Mecha or Megazords I review up in here. Um, just take a look at it here. It's on its stand. It comes with a star stand um, to put on it. There's a little peg here, which goes into the gun hole, which I guess I'll show in a few seconds. Um, but as you can see, it's quite big. This is not a sexual harassment, but as you can see, compared to my hand, uh, very nice. <laughs> Pick up, picks up girl. Very nice. Um, but so, uh, yeah, as you can see, it looks really, really good. Uh, very, very show accurate, obviously, like we said, one-to-one -one scale, um, so that's really cool. It's pretty much like having a prop from the show. Um, pretty nicely painted as well, like, I don't have, there's no, like, paint mistakes or anything. The colors really, uh, pop out nicely. You can even see little details in her eyes. The hair looks good. The clothes looks really nice. Um, there's even little, like, you know, folding marks for, like, the jacket and stuff. Um, her legs are shaved. No, that was weird. She's got panties. Uh, I tried to get the pantyless version, but it was a Thomas Web exclusive. That's a joke. That's not, that didn't happen. Um, then, like, you got some randomly, like, really nice details here, too. Uh, there's, like, this little star cuff over here, and, like, an end thing on her boob. Um, but you got, like, a little jewel over here on the side of her leg, and, like, up here, um, you got these little kind of red, jewelly like pieces. Um, there's not really any articulation, obviously, because of transformation, the background here moves. Uh, her head moves. Um, you can twist this around if you want, this little cannon she's got going on. Um, her leg here can move in and out uh, slightly. Um, and her wrist here can uh, swivel around and move in and out, almost like a figure out or something. Um, and then, like, sometimes if you do this, it's easier to transform, which I'll just leave it like that. So it's not really meant to be posable, but you do have a few slight little things going on. Um, as for sounds, um, it makes... I think it's three different sounds because you got the communication sound, the transformation sound, and the final attack sound. Uh, the communication one's the only one that makes sense here. Um, so I'll show that. Up here is the uh, on off switch. So you just do this, no confirmation noise or anything, um, and then just. No lights or anything, but it makes that noise. I'm going to switch it off just because for some reason mine has a tendency to go off. But so you get that noise. Um, but yeah, so very cool. Um, I like that the switch is like camouflaged in a way, like it blends in here with this. It's not just like a big uh, red button that says on off, which would take away from like the replica quality. So let's go ahead and get her transformed. Uh, I'll pull her off here. So as you can see, as I promised to show, there's a little hole here where that goes up into the gun. Uh, to transform it, uh, it's very simple. Uh, extend this out like so, um, and then fold these pieces back together. There's two little flaps and then you basically just line it up like this and fold it all together and it snaps into place and there you have it in its gun mode. It looks really nice, obviously one to one scale, uh, it feels really nice in your hand. Uh, you got die cast pieces like you have die cast pieces, I think where there's some on her leg a little bit. You also got some on the handle so it makes it feel really heavy like a weapon and obviously as you can see it looks um, 
like a really great size in my hand. Uh, the paint job looks really nice on it. Like this weapon in general is really basic, but the paint's really good. It's like this nice deep blue. It's got kind of a shine to it, which makes it look good. You got the logo here. It just looks really, uh, really good. You got some, and they do have metal on her legs. So it's like in the barrel. That's cool. That looked weird. Um, but so yeah, it just feels like a, a actual weapon. Um, and, and like the, the uh, color of it gives it a nice industrial look. I don't know. Um, it just makes it look real. You got the scope up here, you even got like some clearness on the scope, which makes it look realistic. You can't see through it. But so that's cool. The trigger even uh, like clicks and it feels really, um, I don't know, just good. Like, like not like I'm going to go out and shoot something, but I mean, it just feels realistic. Um, but so yeah, very nice looking. Um, let's do the sounds again. So no confirmation, so you just press the trigger. Or you can do that again. But press the trigger. And you get transformation noises, and I lied, there's four sounds, because after that there's just generic blasting sounds. You can sort of rapid fire it, or just single fire. And then as you saw, you can access that noise from here again. And then for the final attack, you're going to want to hold down this button. And then fire it. And after that, you can do the noises again. So, all very cool. Uh, the last thing is this stand has a second purpose. Obviously, you saw it using the figure, but you can also use it for the gun. Let me just move this down. You get these two stand pieces, which you just put together in these two pieces. Very simple. Take this piece with like the stairs and latch it on here. And then this will line up. Obviously, you can see like a little stair type deal here. And then the other piece around here lines up perfectly with the place right before the trigger. And it lines up perfectly, it's like, it's like a glove. And there you have a nice stand for it in gun mode. So that's very cool, so you can choose to display in whichever way you want, which mode you prefer. I'm not sure how I'm gonna display mine. Probably will depend on space, but there you see, not like this show in space. But so as you can see, it looks very nice. Um, overall, I am very happy with this. It is a really awesome one-to-one -one scale toy. I feel like it's like I own a prop from the show. The gun mode feels really nice. Um, like I said, it feels nice in your hand. Um, it just feels like it has a heft to it. It looks really nice. The sounds are all clear and accurate. Uh, the, the figure itself looks really cool, like a really awesome statue. Um, as for the price, it's pretty expensive. Um, I think mine was 100-ish after AmiAmi discounts. So um, I'm not, I don't regret in any way that I got it. Um, like if you're a huge Akiba Ranger fan and you want to get this, I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. But it's really more of a purchase for people that are like either super completists or just really into Akiba Ranger because it's a little pricey. But I mean, um, you're definitely getting a quality product and I'm very pleased with it. Uh, I like this thing quite a bit. So anyway, uh, I think that's about it. So next time, make sure you check out RidersRangersRambles.com for token news in the craziest way possible. This is Dawson Rider, signing out.